Dope cut right there, man. Dope cut. Thank you. Let's get to some some drink, and then I've got a couple of questions for you about that one. What's in the stash box? Who? Major J. Back getting Bro. Bro. <laughs> How you don't know? Holla, holla. <laughs> What's shit. in the stash box? Drink, 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 uh, alcohol. Stash oh, box time. Classic. What the fuck are we going to pick? I guess we're going we to with the shine, right? Holla, holla. <laughs> All the way from Paris, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, Sean Paul, Sean Paul. And that's some dope marketing, yo. That shit look like an old fashioned. Oh yeah. What was it the mason jar? It looked you know like what this looks like. It looked like when you get done drinking and you you supposed to put a, a half out. <laughs> I'm going to go use the bathroom real quick. My, my, yeah, piggy, yeah. my piggy got an eyeball on it. I'll be back. No, so what, it looks like got? when you my get man, done drinking. Used... Damon, Damon Williams, what they used to call, dude? The Anton? That was Anton, bro. Off Living Color. Yeah, yeah, man. Get the dookie in the jar. That shit was nasty. Junior Johnson. That's what's up. Hey, uh, but, yeah, but seriously, though. The jar looks like when you're done, you're supposed to put a like a, like an ounce in it. <laughs> just, just let it bubble. So, 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 it, so what is this? What do we got, Johnny man? Johnson, this is uh, Midnight Moon. Midnight Moon. The moonshine. Moonshine. Now, this what flavor? Apple pie flavor, supposedly. It says it has real apple juice in it. It says it really? has real apple juice. Well, that means it's good for you. Uh, okay. 70 yeah. proof. Shit is good. 70 proof? Wow. They said it looks like pee. And it's from I where? can't wait it to do taste look like So I'm wondering, do we got to get like a spoon or something to get this into these shot glasses? Yeah, he said a spoon. It's from North Carolina. I mean, how? Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, wow. Sure. Raise up. Hold on. Why would we have to get a spoon, Jimmy? How are we going to get them some shot glasses? Uh, Very carefully. What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour it right, over the, dip, right <laughs> over the carpet. We yeah. need some let's, sort of contraption. We need dip funnels. The shot glasses we need there. funnels. I'm worried, man. Let's dip the shot glasses. This might not that, work. That, that don't look like an easy pour. Yeah. We might have to start over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give it a shot, man. Right. Right. We'll see what happens. Yeah, try the first one. Just you know what? Just you know how your, it is. Start, start up high. Start up high. Start up high. Here, I'll I'll do it. You want me to start? Yeah, you do. This is this is your place, man. Do it right over the keyboard. Yeah, go get uh, hey! Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's a big one. That sucks for somebody, though. <laughs> Yo. I'll take that one. All right. See, the moonshine name is what scares you, though, man. That shit. Yeah. Oh, death. That's the only knock I, I had like, on this, man. Death to my enemies. That's what we're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> somebody <Shit>. got us. <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm, <laughs> that's a celebration, though. All right. yeah, that's what's up, boom, bitch. Yeah, good night. <laughs> this is a boom. <laughs> the only knock I have on it. Is that it's in a crate? Oh, it's got cinnamon like in the in the yeah, jar. Hey man, you know how you're supposed to pour these shots, J Mac? You're supposed to get a proper like a, a motor oil funnel. Yeah. <laughs> and then you That's just, really what you, you need. You know what I'm man. saying? You pour it into that. You all good. Put it either that or put a nipple on that bitch. Get, all, <laughs> get it all the way on. Get serious. All right, let's try right, this, man. man. It's a midnight moon moonshine. Cheers. Cheers to hood eye. Boom. Oh my God, man! That is wow. I threw it straight back. That was nice. That's dude. incredibly that's, good. Yeah, that's smooth as shit. That was oh really my good. God, that's not a good idea. Remember the cinnamon challenge? Yeah. This is like <laughs> you the don't like challenge, it. There was a moment where <laughs> there's like a moment it. where you're like, "This is great." What the fuck y'all talking? <laughs> oh shit, dude! There's no oh, bite. Shit. Yeah, that's that's shit is delicious. That, shit is that is amazing. That's, that's really how dangerous. much was that for the mason jar? <laughs> I, hate, I hate telling you guys prices now, man. No, you have to. You gotta tell the listeners. We paid forty bucks for it. No, no, no. I think it was just over twenty bucks. Yeah, like twenty two bucks or something. No, how many ounces? Yeah, exactly. What's the milliliters on that shit? That's what I'm looking for. Seven hundred fifty. Oh, like How many ounces is It's like it? a fifth, yeah. yeah. That's a fifth. All right, so a fifth or 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah, man. Are price, you lying? Man. Is it 29? Is things. it really 29? You got to be I got honest. the receipt right there in the back. <laughs> you want to you wanna freak out your... Uh, hey, throw that over your, here, your, man. Your, your, shot of that you room. know, your roommates or something like that. Instead of buying some, you know, you're supposed to buy the Jaeger for the party or something. You just come on for some of that shit. That actually tastes great. That's man. incredibly good, it, man. I got the tickle, though. You guys, I really... For like, sure. For real remember, like, oh, shit. <laughs> this is gonna go bad. Isn't I like it? the Rocky though. <laughs> no, no, you're not no, Rocky no, Fro tonight. No, no, no. Not Rocky that was my Fro. favorite episode, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite episode. Was I wasn't lie. here. I was just, we was saved bang. some Rocky for Fro. <laughs> and I heard him the whole time making up jokes without punchlines. He's the <laughs> only one laughing. It was amazing. <laughs> and this, and, and and literally, I was drinking until I drank it. 
Yeah. Couldn't drink nothing else. I, I made a soundbite of you for myself. It's That's not even sound. like part of the show. I didn't <laughs> listen to if, it. If everyone. I call you right now, am I, I going to hear myself? That shit would be hilarious. That's the ringtone. <laughs> I want some, man. So, <laughs> we unanimous then? Big, big, big thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can rock with that. This time of year, too? That's yes. what it is, man. The Midnight moon? Moonshine, man. This isn't tiny. This is good, man. Big enough. This is incredibly really good. This is good, man. And it, it's got bite to it. It does, it's man. It's strong. But it's a good bite, though. It ain't like... You'd be the toughest dude in the world, and <laughs> it'll make the it'll make the Yuletide gay. That's <laughs> that yeah, time it didn't, have, it didn't give me chills like that other shit we took at the Some beginning. Some Tannenbaum players. That was good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tannenbaum players. <laughs> Thanksgiving Day parade in a fucking shot glass. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Man. It's festive, I'm just saying. Uh, it is. It's delicious, yeah, man. Yeah, you put some yams with that. Cornucopia... <laughs> Uh, yams, you had like all kinds of yams. They said yams. yams. <laughs> I love yams. I want to get into it. Too. Why you gotta say it like that? Though? I'm sweating. Now. Yams Why you gotta make that it is, like that? That shit made me thing. warm, dude. Because <laughs> you have you have yams and then you have yams. Oh, man. What you mean? Oh, I like yams. The yeah, I'm just, I'm I just saying, he about, knows yams. I know he's talking about yams. Yam, yam, yam. That shit is strong as fuck. Yeah, yam got multiple I feel, names. I feel, like, real, I feel like Diddy in that movie. Like, on the Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> he's, looking, <laughs> he's rubbing the wall. Excellent. He's looking. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, why are you rubbing the wall? Because it feels good. Yeah. Man. Is, is your wall? What is this? What is this? I want to make my house. <laughs> What's happening right now, man? I'm just saying, know, the drink made me want to lose the control. <laughs> sweat, man. So, yo, man, I want to get to a topic that hopefully callers will want to call in on, too, man. This whole website, rapgenius.com. We've had this in the notes since the last episode. We meant to talk about it. But, um, yeah, these dudes is. Yeah, they blowing up, man, and they doing it. I don't really like the way that they going about getting exposure, but it's it's tough to argue with, you know, the amount of publicity that they've been getting, man. These dudes started yeah. up a site. It was a startup. They got 15 million off the rip. Now, did they ever say how no, long it's, it's, it took I think them to get been, that? I think they've been up a while. They've been up a while? Yeah. Okay. And the whole thing is is it's so people can annotate lyrics. Yeah, so if you haven't checked out Rap Genius. Shout out to Eric Black. <laughs> <laughs> Check the shit out. Now I ain't gonna lie to you. In itself, the idea of the site, I think it's kinda dope. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. The shit's kinda it's innovative. Right. And what they do is they actually get some of the artists themselves to put layman's terms, interpretations of their lyrics, you know, on this website. So like you hover over a verse. And like it'll be like sometimes it'll be four bars, sometimes right. it could be two bars, but they will right. give you a pop up breakdown right. of what's being An said. Explanation. Right. Yeah, explanation of what the what the lyrics mean. Yeah. And then they've got what is it, editors that kinda go in and verify because it's kinda like Wikipedia, right? Where users can come in and yep. yeah. if the song hasn't been reviewed by the artist or an editor and someone uploads a track, you could be a just a contributor, right? And come right. in and add your own, you know, you can put your own, your own on definition exactly. of what, yeah, what's in this, what's in this verse, what they meant. which is where part of the problem is. Which, that yeah, because you know, like just like Wikipedia, you, there's times when people will flood a page and just totally put bullshit information, right? You know, under someone's wiki. I can't see someone doing that. I mean, so people put their lyrics up there, and anybody can go in and <laughs> you can <laughs> fuck with it, fuck it up. Why am I yeah. laughing? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know why? Because I did it myself. <laughs> he put I put all my lyrics online, but that's not the punchline. The punchline is I put an interpretation up of a couple ghost face bars that I really like, mm. but I really don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I tried to guess, yeah, okay. and they rejected it, so I have a negative score on Rap Genius. Oh, <laughs> man. Editors. So that's Censorship. how it works then. So do you lose the power to do that to someone else's bar? I, don't, I have not tried yet. See, that's what I want to know. They got some... Man, that's the hip hop story. He's starting out in the shit. negative. Yeah. So yeah, the, 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 the whole the thing is is they they're actually get they got the fifteen million dollars <laughs> for the box. technology. <laughs> the technology in itself, it's really not that deep. It, yeah, it's really not. That, but it ain't that crazy. It's the, the process is it, it's it's not been done yet. It's just I mean, nobody's that's done why, it. That's why right. I said that's, that's where the innovation right. comes in. Right. It's right. it's clever. They but the fucked up part sweet. is why did it have to be rap? Why did it have to be hip hop? That they why couldn't it be poetry genius? My thing is. Because no one gives a fuck about most poetry. Not just that, but it's, I mean, it's easy but to, that, they, that, they have those, though, guys. They're Yale grads, No, man. but they have those websites. So then why are There's we... There's a website called songmeanings.com. Okay. Where, where like, if you, you listen to Coldplay and you're like, what the fuck Does, it, does the process work the same way? 
It's pretty close. It is, because people can go on there, but they do an interpretation of the entire song. Right, that's different. Yeah, but it's different, but it's Be- also different because hip-hop is so intricate, man. Yeah. Bar for bar, you're really, you're really going out there and like defining each bar. A lot of words. Right. Because of the Wu-Tangs of the world that you need to do that, because a lot of times rappers will speak in a different language. That, to right. me, and what's so dope is the, the, the amount of interaction they have with the actual artist. And when you can get the artist to come on and fucking really break down what he meant, that's... Valuable, dog. I mean, it is. You, it's valuable. It's valuable if the artist does it. Do you think that yeah. if you let the artist do it? When you like, got, and then that's that's what brings me to what what happened after they got their fifteen million, and then uh, the dude from the gr- group Das Racist heard about it, yeah. and he said that it was uh, rapgenius dot com is white devil sophistry. Why? What does that mean? So he's basically saying it's white people coming in and making it. They're fucking with the lyrics. They're fucking it up. They're making it. They're they kind of the like, lyrics? for example, if you take if you take um, uh, uh, what's a Sir Mix a lot. Okay. And I've heard we got a call. Okay. And I've heard people say, "All right, let's take uh, Sir Mix a lot and uh, mess with the lyrics." Oh, baby, I want to get with you and obtain your photograph. And they take it like that, like it's a fucking joke, and they fuck with the lyrics that way. And they make a mockery out of what it really is. Like, I mean, that's not what this is. See, I don't think so. That's it happens. I think you're reading into too much into it. it First no, off, if you go read the no, shit that people the thing are is, saying, you know, I don't need to go to this site. So this don't even cater to me. Like, I will not. I'm not a user of this site. Word, son. I consider myself a hip hop head. Word, so son. Decide for my own shit. I don't need some Yale white boy to break shit down for me. Right. Tell you so what, word, son. It ain't my tool. So well, unless I, it's therefore, Ghostface, but why is it up to them man, to make I mean, the decision? Now, if you had Ghostface himself <laughs> provide, now if they if they had that connect, yeah, there's some bars which that, they're doing. They're doing that shit with Nas. Yes, they did it with Big so, Crit and, and a they, bunch of other artists. Some of those, it, Price for some of those, it would be valuable. But that's yeah. all it should be, in my opinion. When it comes to hip hop, that's all it should be is the artists annotating so, their own. So, so shit. all you want is a whole bunch of people to have uh, Jay Z's decoded book. Period. That's it. No, because Only that book is your bullshit. Own shit. Only decode your own shit. That's bullshit. I'm just, Why I, is that bullshit? Be, uh, that's a whole a other white con- book, and he hates white people. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got a I mean, we got a caller by the okay. way. Caller, what's the name? Well, this is L one. What up, L one? What up, fam? What up, what up, what up? What's going on? What it's up? funny y'all talking about that site because I just started going to that site this week. That site is dope. It's all about the science of rap. It, 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 if lyrics are important to you, go to this site. Why? Because um, the the thing is, like they have Kendrick Lamar's whole album on there already, and people have been adding their, you know, their explanations or their descriptions of his lyrics. And the thing is, once he has a verified account, he can approve or disapprove of what people say the uh, like that song meant or something. Like when people do like "Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe," and yeah. they'll explain certain lines. If yeah. it's correct, he'll verify it. If not, uh, he'll down it, and they'll get rid of that explanation. But who makes so, that decision? I didn't, he who said makes the, the artist himself? If Kendrick becomes yeah, verified, then he can do it. That's dope right. as fuck. But but yeah. if yeah, he doesn't, big, but if he doesn't, how many people are getting the wrong? Are like getting this fucking bullshit? But that's if you take it as gospel, man. You don't have to. Right. It's, right. Exactly. It's a tool yeah, you that you can get. use it or you don't. It's it is. Ain't no one forcing you to go to this site. Yeah. Right. That's true. Yeah, it's all it's all because really, when it comes to listening to any music, any lyrics, it's all left up to interpretation anyway. Unless yeah. you speak to the artist directly, <laughs> like what were you thinking when you wrote this line and that line? You are gonna take it the way that you envision it anyway until it's explained to you yeah. by that artist. So they're gonna have you're gonna have a hundred and one different meanings of a line, a verse, or whatever. And once they, once they're trying to get more and more artists to get verified accounts. Once they do that, then you'll really know what it means. So and if you're close, dope. if you're close or you're right on, you you stay. If it's not right, they take it out. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's not like you know, it's, it's like a rap Wikipedia, but it's more accurate. Kev's in the I chat think- saying that uh, Major can break down Kid Cudi lyrics, so. Ah. <laughs> hey, can you do that Creeper song? From no, no. <laughs> now, hold on. Ilwan, I want to ask you something, man, because you've been using the site, and this is one of the other complaints, is I've heard that because of the creators and some of the, I don't know if it's them necessarily, I've heard there's been some racial some racial shit on the site, in, 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 in particular from moderators 
when it comes to like the chats that goes on. And I, I don't, that's the one thing that in the interviews I've heard with these people, no one really gets to the heart of what was said that was racial. So I don't know right, if you got yeah. white dudes throwing around the, you know, nigga or what, what's going on. But have you seen yeah. any of that in your, in your use? Well, I didn't see much of that, but I heard the same thing from other, from other people, other, other things. It's, in, the, it's in their that. chat. It's in their chat. Yeah. It's not on the site itself. It's like in their little right. private chat shit. And what was right. that? Though? But the, they're, but the they're making is, jokes about slavery. They had, a, they had a take on uh, slavery. Really? And they were speaking yeah. on it, and it was really, yeah. really just offbeat. White and it Iranian was, dudes. It was man. bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, because it uh, it's a, the, I think it's the two owners because uh, yeah. one is named Mike Blue or there's, whatever. There's he, three. He's like um, <clears throat> Pakistani, I think. Oh, uh, but he he does a lot of videos and things. You know, the, guy doing the other dude doing the silly the other rap dudes from Iran. I heard. No, he's the one from right. Iran. He's from okay. Iran. Yeah. And the thing yeah, is, is so that he's doing those shirtless fucking videos where he raps like bullshit. It's yeah. complete right. shit. Making a mockery. Now, of shit. now I right. will say this, man. They didn't come off very well in the interview. I heard they sound like clowns. To be honest right. with you. Well, yeah, like, yeah. I, I heard them in the interview. You probably you probably talking about the same one that I heard going with Dallas Penn. And, yes. Yeah. And, and Dallas, he had a uh, he had a personal gripe. Personal, I think. Because they got fifteen million dollars to develop a whole bunch of other sites, not just uh, Rap Genius, but yeah. uh, Law Genius and all these other ones that they're going to develop. He got a little jealous because they got funded to do something that he would have loved to do, but you know he didn't quite convey that the right way. But That's I think what he's it not the like, only man. And I respect Dallas, but he did. He was coming off a little salty, I think. Yeah, well, but there's a whole story behind that. I think he don't that. like the dudes. I think it's honestly for him. I think it's more personal. I think he sees these dudes as douchebags, and well, it's that's, a shame that, that's that exactly douchebags, what it is. Douchebags is, you know, it's too bad that assholes came up with with a dope idea. Is what I. That's, I mean, there's, I but there's the whole story where he went to their office with okay. Rafi. Yeah, but he said he was cool with that. He said that didn't bother yeah. him. Were they fucked up and said that he was a rapper he, and they're trying to get him? He didn't care. That's what he didn't care about. Yeah, he said because he said that when. When they when they when he was coming through, he said they were told that it was going to be a rapper. So he said when Dallas showed up, they just assumed. So yeah. and he's like, yeah, he's like, I ain't mad about that. It's whatever. He you know he was cool on that. I just think he yeah. really don't like them as people, and doesn't like that people like that came up with a dope a dope concept. Yeah, they're like the, the Winklevosses from uh, the social media. Movie. Pretty much. That's what they well, are. You know what you you should check out their uh, their podcast uh, outside the line. You know it. Their podcasts are pretty dope because they go in depth with artists like about why this is real intellectual talk about and you know to MCs with MCs about their their verses like they talk they talk to Nas, Gene Gray, Pharrell Monch. It's real interesting. But I, I can't get past they, the host, and, and man. They and they don't come off like they don't come off like clowns though. No, they're not. They're not the. They don't do it. It's a, another guy who Look, does the interviews. Come on, but who's doing the dude doing the interviews? Come on, man. Who come is, on. Who is it? I don't know, but he's like, okay. So here we go. <laughs> Here's what's gonna happen. All right. So can what? you explain, a bitch? Better have my money because it sounds funny. You know, <laughs> it, sound, it does sound funny, but he, but actually, it's real interesting because you get to find out what did they mean True. by this line or. You know this phrase, and, and and they do get in depth with it. So it's about the science of lyrics. That's what it is. If you're uh, about lyrics, you should be on Rap Genius. You should listen to that because they go in depth. That's but if you're up. about it's like be to whatever, it's probably not for you. No, so see, man, I'm still not buying. I'm not drinking the Kool Aid yet, man. <laughs> appreciate not, it, Ill One, man. Good I'm not drinking. Man. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, fam. Yep. I'm yep. still I'm still not Peace, drinking baby. the Midnight Moon, man. On that, yeah, <laughs> I can't do it. We. The concept, yeah, there's no knocking the idea. It's dope. I'm sorry. The idea is dope. I just I, what I you got a problem with? I don't buy going on there and just looking at the meanings and being like, oh yeah, oh that's what that means. No, I like I like the idea of trying to figure shit out on my own. That's the then whole you figure fun it of out it. and post yours. Exactly. No, but that's the yes, thing. Man. It's like no, because no, let me, yes. let me, let why me, is it up to me to interpret it and try and make somebody who comes and says, oh man, I want to see what this song hey, is man, about. You remember and my argument about Twitter? Shit. Yeah. And Facebook and all them shits, it's the exact same thing you're saying. Tell me. That's the exact same thing that we're saying here. What? Is, what the fuck does your opinion have to do on anything? Right. 
Unless it's the person who wrote the lyrics. And sooner or later, give it a chance. Let it fucking sit out there and do what it do, and then you'll find a way to fucking use it or not. Nigga, you ain't got to go to the no, fucking man. website. Yeah, saying, man. It's a free fucking world. Fine, man. let it be a free world. All I'm saying is I'm against it for that reason, because it's unless it's every artist putting out... He sound like they're going on. I know, man. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm can, gonna, I, can I have an I'm opinion go on it? it? Yeah, of course you can. Can I not have an opinion on it? Yeah, you can have an opinion. I'm just That's saying why I'm against your opinion. Against your wrong. opinion. <laughs> it's not wrong. I'm against your opinion. <laughs> Phone lines is open, man. This will be a continuing theme throughout the show, it's man. It's 3 one, it one plus one if you're outside what? the country. It's, it's 313-444-8711. Yes, indeed, Or call man. us on Skype at Hood Hype. Please call. Please do. I'm, I'm, don't call us. Don't I'm call serious. us. This no. shit is... It's a dope site, Mac, and you. you I'm not twisted. saying it's not a dope you site. I'm it, saying man. when you bring people in right. who who okay. aren't the artists, you're fucking with the music. I don't like that. I'm but if, I don't like it. But I'm I'm an artist, so I'm gonna tell you if you go to Rap Genius Mola One and look up my uh, mm-hmm. lyrics to my EP, yeah. they're all on there. And it was a pain in the ass because I typed on myself because I'm not a big fucking rap star where somebody. You know, typed them up there and told me to verify them. <laughs> you should verify them. I will verify them at some point. I just it, but the, try to figure them out first. But what are you going to do? Fun. What are you going to do if some dude gets on there and says, oh, this is what he meant by this? And then, I'm going to correct them. But exactly. see, there should be but there should be open conversation. That's, it should be, it's, it's, dope, it's supposed to be debatable. And then yeah. when you get these dudes in here and they just walk in and just blindly put in some shit, Dude. oh, he's talking about fucking bitches. No, man, I was talking about how the planets align yeah. on the 15th of June. Right. Mac, what but you it, sound like, you know though, what I mean? Is, what you sound like, though, to, to, to Major's uh, point is you sound like you believe everything on the internet and everybody does, that's too. That's not what I'm saying. Hold, hold on, let me explain I'm why. I'm saying there's idiots because who will everybody, believe everybody... All right, yeah, that's true. I mean, you could go right Debbie sucks dicks on the fucking bathroom <laughs> stall, and there's but people who are gonna I be like, "What the fuck's Debbie? <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is she? I need my dick sucked right, right now." All right, it doesn't really fucking matter. Just let those. Uh, all right, is that who you're like? Yeah, I'm not really. I'm looking at the people who believe who actually believe it. I don't want you people, people to believe gonna it. Make but those, what if a guy people, in the next stall says, "I'm Debbie"? Then what are you gonna do? I'm not doing shit. I'm not looking for Debbie. <laughs> Which means nothing. But I was going to say... It doesn't on, mean it. I'm not even related. Why did you do that? Because it's funny. <laughs> on Rap Genius, um, the reason I have negative score is because Ghostface had a line in the song Nutmeg. And this goes back to the point of correcting lyrics. But who's the, who's to say you were wrong? Who Every, makes that everybody, judgment? Everybody, because I made this shit up myself. Man. My point is, is why is it up to somebody other than the artist to make that judgment call? To because, say that's not right. But you tell me. You speak make on a judgment behalf call. of the artist. Ghostface I'm a, I'm a, said, scientific, my hand kissed it. Robotic, let's think optimistic. I can't even say it. I came back and I said, Ghostface was notoriously good in his science classes. <laughs> he talked about it in various interviews during the Bulletproof Wallets album, and he made a robot for a science fair that did manicures. <laughs> No, so he's been an asshole. You're being I was a being dick. an asshole. Okay, okay. That's back being... to the site. So I was being a dick. The shit so got rejected. In that, in that case, and they put me in my the place. The system worked, right? The system that makes worked. sense. That makes sense. But then you got situations where people are making wrong. Like, it's not as blatant as that. And then it's like, you're fucking with the art form. You're fucking wrong, with the it's music. Gonna it's not right. At some point, right? By who? The artist. The artist yeah. is the only person who can make that call. I guarantee you, if I'm even semi popular and people go online and try to annotate my lyrics and shit, a lot of it's gonna be wrong. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. And you know what's great about that? There's gonna be discussion because people are gonna be like, "No, but you're they wrong. don't this have. It's it not open for discussion. It is because you can go on there and tell the next person, man. I'm yeah. telling you, it's the, not, you, I'm, you can go on there and put your, you. Yeah, you can. You can. You can over. We're gonna continue their, this shit, man. We, okay. This shit is the yeah. lines is open. I want to hear from people in the chat. If you haven't been there, man, go ahead and open up another tab and just go browse real quick, man. It's, it's interesting as fuck. Yep. You can see their most. I think their left bar is where they have what's the newest uploads and shit. It's, you can see what's out there. It's 313-444-8711 or call us on Skype at Hood Hype, man. Yes, indeed, um, man. Right here, I mean, Apollo boom. Brown and Guilty Simpson, Truth Be Told, oh, episode 191, so motherfuckers. So when we come back, we're talking boom with Mola. Listen to yeah. Ghostface. Long, <laughs>